All right, okay, today we're going to look at a 1966 Schwinn Stingray Copper Tone uh, basic model, fenderless model, the non deluxe model. Uh, this one's going to go up for auction. It'll end on November 6th. That'll be the last day for the auction. It's going to be a seven day auction. All right, so we've got a Copper Tone CV serial number, March of 66. The uh, front wheel is a S7 stamped, it's got a Schwinn stamped hub on it. The, uh, the back wheel. It's got the center stamp S2, and it's got the uh, Bendix brake and hub. On the uh, neck, we have a 66 stamp on the neck, and on the crank, you have a February 2 66 stamp on the crank. This has got the S stamp seat post clamp. We've got the uh, Schwinn approved grips. These handlebars are uh, non Schwinn. These are non Schwinn handlebars. I replaced the uh, the ones that came on the bike were in rough shape, so we put these on there. These are good handlebars. They're ribbed all the way through. They're uh, really slip resistant for if you're going to be pulling back on the handlebars. And it's got the nice wide, wide ape hangers, and they angle back to you. Uh, replace the pedals. I've got uh, some slip resistant pedals on here with the uh, reflector, reflective pedals. Um, you got new tires on the bike. Let's see, we got the Chicago head badge on the bike. Uh, this is a replacement seat. Uh, this is an aftermarket replacement seat. It's got really nice vinyl. It does have the, uh, the metal Schwinn Stingray tag on it. Uh, this, is a, this is a really good riding bike. This bike rides really smooth. All the mechanics are working on it. Everything's been worked, cleaned, uh, tuned, re-greased, uh, put back together. Uh, it does have some uh, normal flaws on it. We have the, uh, we've got paint loss on this top bar and right here is going to be the worst spot on the bike. Uh, we've got some typical chrome loss on the bends of the handlebars, a couple of spots on the wheels. Now the, now all these uh, rough spots on the frame were, uh, we've uh, wet sanded and brought down to a smooth finish. We applied new decals and then clear coated over the entire bike with a UV resistant high grade uh, clear coat. So decals came out great. You're not going to have any problems with those. You can't see any of the lines. And all the belt, bare metal spots have been treated. So you're not going to have any future rusting there. Just shows the, uh, the vintage age and make, just makes the bike a good rider. And you don't have to worry about anything when riding this one. And it has one structural flaw in it. The front forks have a slight, they're not bent, but they have a slight twist to them. Uh, it looks like to me, someone really torqued on this, on this head tube bolt one time while holding the wheel still and put the, and put the forks in a bind. But it, it didn't have any effect on the ride. The bike rides straight, the wheel goes on, no problem. It's just when you're sitting in the seat and you look down, you can see a slight twist in the forks. But really, if you don't know what you're looking for, I don't even know if you're going to see it. Okay, so we've already looked at some of the mechanics while we're talking. You see this front wheel spins great. No issues with it. Free spinning. We'll look at the brakes on this back wheel. I'm going to get it going pretty good. Brakes work good. Everything nice and smooth. Uh, got a nice sturdy crank and like I already talked about before the handlebars are with this 100% rib where it connects which is even, which is better than the typical Schwinn I mean it's really in there good you're not gonna have any problems with the handlebars slipping as you can see we're gonna take this bike down we're gonna take it for a ride uh, if you have any questions on this bike you can you can send an email and uh, Hope this gives you confidence in uh, future bidding. All right, we're gonna take this bike for a ride. Uh, just want to restate these tires. These are new tires. Uh, they're not new old stock. They're uh, replacement tires, so you got really good rubber as far as performance goes. And the pedals, the same thing. So you got slip resistance. You got really nice pedals there. Both performance uh, upgrades to the bike, which um, is a knock against originality, but. It's a little upgrade for what I thought the bike, the condition of the bike would just be a good rider. And then, of course, you got the real nice seat on it. Once again, not an original seat, 
but it is a tag swing stingray seat that you would have found on the uh, reproduction uh, swing stingrays that came out in the in the 90s, I believe. This is what this seat came off of, and you've got the original hand grips. These are the swing approved original hand grips. All right, so we're gonna get on it. So this bike here with these handlebars for those who are who are buying it to to perform wheelies, you know, these are these are the easy handlebars to do it. The way they angle back to you. I'm not gonna try it for you today. But the winners, welcome to try it. So here we go.